My name is Ian Murphy, and I'm the Technical Project Lead for the IMECE Formula Student AI Competition. The IMECE ADS-DV vehicles were first introduced in 2019 as part of a funding by the Centre for Connected and Autonomous Vehicles, or CCAV for short. This allowed students who would not normally be part of the Formula Student Competition to enter the AI side of the competition and lowered the barrier to entry for those teams. They did not have to build their own vehicle, which is very helpful for those teams that do not consist of mechanical engineering students, but are more electronic or computer science based. Currently, there are two ADS-DB vehicles available, but for 2024, CCAP has come up with some more funding and we're now building two additional vehicles to widen the scope and availability of these vehicles to the student teams. So at this time, we're in the middle of the build of the two New York ads DB vehicles. So the most important aspect of these is the electronic and control systems on the vehicle. The chassis were built by an established race car manufacturer, DJ Racecar. But in order to be fully automated, they need to be fitted with a steering control system, a braking control system, an electric motor and battery, and an industrial PC, which the teams write software for in order to control them autonomously. Currently, all of those control systems are in the progress of being built. So there is a lot of wiring and other installation like that being conducted. So for the 2024 competition, all the cars, both the old ones and the new ones, are being upgraded. The first upgrade is to the camera that the teams can use to sense the cones that the vehicle must navigate around. We're also upgrading the computing power. As everyone knows, computers get better with time and the existing computers were five years old. So the new computers have more processing power better graphics cards, which can be used for computation, like neural networks and other AI features, and also additional memory. Probably the most difficult aspect of building the new ads DVs has been the amount of electrical and electronic integration that is required. The ECU must be wired to all of the sensors and actuators on the vehicles, and also connected to a road emergency stop system for safety. All of this must be tested, to make sure everything is working correctly before the competition begins. Another new element for 2024 is the introduction of simulators for the ads DV that can be used on the desktop rather than on the racetrack. Teams can test their software on the simulator, which has a visual representation of the car movement using IPG CarMaker software. They can then be better prepared when they deploy their software onto the real race cars and attempt the dynamic events.